we've no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs. Of all right, I have some really good holiday books coming up for you guys. Five book talks, all having to do with the holidays in some way. The first one I'm going to read to you, I'm not going to read it to you, I'm going to tell you about it. It's called Let It Snow. And you can see here there's three different authors. So there's actually going to be three different stories going on in this book, which I really liked because you get through one story and then you start a new one. But in this one, they're all connected in some way because it happens on the same day that these stories take place and is happening in the same town. So by the end of the story, you get to see how the characters connect and how they're all kind of brought together by the end of it. It's really a, a cool take on how to write the story. Um, so we got John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. John Green actually wrote Fault in Our Stars, so it, I kind of gravitated towards this winter one because I recognized his name. And... Um, like I said, each of the stories has their own plot, but they all come together in the end. The first story, um, you've got this main character that gets stuck on a train. Because of the blizzard, the train gets stuck on the tracks. And instead of just moping on the train, she decides to go out and venture out into the snow to see if she can find um, a warm place to stay instead of just hanging out on this cold train. And someone else decides to go on this adventure with her, so you'll have to see... Um, what happens there and does she find a place to end up? And then the next one, you've got friends that are inside of their house and they know that there's a blizzard outside. The parents aren't home, they're out of town, and they start to talk about taking the van out to maybe go to the local Waffle House. Now, I probably wouldn't have ever dared to take my parents' car in a blizzard, but they decide to do this and of course they're sliding all over the road. You have to read, do they make it to the Waffle House? And what is the, the pull to even get them there? Like why leave the house in the cold to get to this Waffle House? And then the last one, there's a friendship that's tested because um, this really heart heartbroken barista has to go and get her friend a special pet and it's the only day she can go get him. So um, she makes this promise to her friend that she's gonna go get this pet but she gets into all of these situations that kind of hold her back from doing this. So will this friendship be able to withstand um, the drama that goes on in that story? So like it sounds like there's a lot of different things going on, but by the end of the story, you'll see how it all comes together and what relationships are sparked with each of these different storylines. So go ahead and let me know if you'd like to read Let It Snow. It was made into a Netflix movie, which I started watching, but I didn't finish it because I was so disappointed in it. I liked the book so much better. So again, comment if you'd like to read this book and why or why not.